Hi, I'm Will Puckett, and lately my friends at other schools have been telling me how Central High School students don't know anything. We have a bad rep around the city, and so today, me and my trusty sidekick, John, say hi to the camera, John, are here to prove that Central High School students do know a little something. So we went around asking students to give us a little information on what we see as American heroes. So. Here's where our journey begins. Excuse me, Ms. Ballard, would you mind if I asked you class about some American history? Go right ahead. All right. Would any of you like to answer some questions so you could be on TV about American history? You in the black. Hi, what's your name? I'm Ashley. Could you tell me who this is? Uh, no, I don't recognize her. She has her own talk show? Oprah. Not quite. She's the voice of Dory on Finding Nemo? Still nothing. Alright, it's Ellen DeGeneres. Can you tell me who this is? Well, he's very attractive, but I also don't know who he is. All right, he's got the moves like Jagger. He's one of the co-hosts of the show Voice. Mick Jagger. Not quite, it's Adam Levine. Can you tell me who this one is? Well, duh, that's John F. Kennedy. He was the 35th president of the United States. He advocated for civil rights legislation, expanded our economic programs, and avoided the Cuban Missile Crisis. <laughs> he was a true American hero. I totally did not expect that after missing the first two, but you are correct. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. Excuse me, Mrs. Walker, would you mind if I asked your class about some American history? Sure, that's fine. Thank you very much. All right, would any of you guys like to be, like to answer some questions about American history and be on TV? Yeah. Yes! Um, right here in the front. Hi, what's your name? Kayla. Okay, I have pictures of three people and I need you to tell me who they are, alright? Alright. Alright, do you know who this is? Well, she's interesting. Wait a minute, what is she wearing? It, it looks like a meat costume, I guess. Um, she's a singer, you know. Baby, I was born as Yeah, you know, I have no idea. Never heard of that? Alright, it's Lady Gaga. Oh. Alright. Do you know who this is? Um, is he an author? I think I may have read a book by him. No, wait, that was J.K. Rowling. Um, I don't know. Um, it's Harry Potter. Oh. All right. Do you know who this one is? Oh, it's Harriet Tubman. She was an African-American abolitionist who led over 70 slaves to freedom through the Underground Railroad, which is a series of safe houses leading north to Canada where slavery was outlawed. To avoid being caught, she and the slaves would use a series of code words and African spirituals and even refer to her as Moses as an added precaution. She was a brave woman. <laughs> True American hero. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excuse me, Mrs. Hahn, would you mind if we ask your class about some American history? Sure. All right. Would any of you guys like to make TV and answer a couple questions about some American history? <laughs> All right, right here. What's your name? Uh, Ian Schooler. Alright, could you tell me who this is? Uh, a nerd. It's definitely a nerd. Um, well, you're right about that, but not quite. Have you ever heard of Napoleon Dynamite? No, no. Well, that's who it is. Could you tell me who this is? Oh, he looks, he looks familiar. Um, I gotta think about this. Hold on. Uh, it's not coming to me. I don't know it. All right, well, he's a Heisman Trophy winner, a national champion, went to Florida. I, I don't know it. All right, it's Tim Tebow. That's weird. I've never heard of him. Now, could you tell me who this is? Oh, yeah, it's Ronald Reagan. He was the 40th president of the United States. He helped bring down the Berlin Wall, ended the Cold War, and he even survived being shot in an attempt on his life. He was a true American hero. Well, you definitely hit a home run with that one, and you surprised me. Thank you very much. No problem. Yes. 
excuse me, Mr. Holland, would you mind if I ask your class about some American history? Absolutely, go ahead. All right, would any of you guys like to make TV and answer a few questions about some American history? Um, right here in the gray. All right, hi, what's your name? My name's Cole. All right, now, would you please tell me who this is? Um, no, I don't recognize him. Um, Leatherheads, he's an actor. Um, uh, Mark Wahlberg? Not quite, this is George Clooney. Oh, I don't, I don't know who that is. Could you tell me who this is? Um, it looks like the Yellow Crescent Finch. Um, not quite. Sesame Street? Um, the Tropical Canary? No, it's Big Bird. Who's that? <laughs> All right. I have my fingers crossed on this one. Could you tell me who this is? Oh, yeah, that's, that's Jackie Robinson. He's the first black Major League Baseball player. Uh, he played in six World Series, and his contributions to baseball were, were great. And then he also made a major breakthrough in racial barriers in sports. All right, you, you blew it out of the water with that one. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks. Excuse me, Mr. Harris, but do you mind if I ask your class about some American history? No, that's fine. Um, guys, wake up. <clears throat> there you go. Everybody. Everyone. All right. Wake up. All right, who would like to be on TV and answer a couple questions about American history? All right, you in the red in the back. All right, could you tell me who, hi, what's your name? Caitlin. All right, could you tell me who this is? Um, my dad. Um, he also brings presents. He rides a sleigh, has reindeer. Newt Gingrich. Not quite. All right, it's Santa. Do you know who this is? I totally know him, Jack Black. Not quite. He, this man's a better actor. He's one of the best Western film stars ever to live. No, I don't know. All right, it's John Wayne. Do you know who this is? Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States. He wrote the Declaration of Independence as well as made the Louisiana Purchase in 1803, which added about 800,000 square miles of new territory to the U.S. He highly advocated exploration of new lands and supported Lewis and Clark on their expedition. He molded our country into what it is today. Wow. Um, after not knowing the first two, you definitely rounded it back and you were correct. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excuse me, Miss Morris, would you mind if I asked your class about some American history? Oh, we'd love it. Please, go ahead. Thank you. Would any of you guys like to answer a question, some questions about American history and be on TV? Yeah. Um, right here. Hi, what's your name? Joy. All right, now I have three people, and I need you to tell me who they are, all right? Okay. All right, do you know who this is? Megan Fox. Not quite. She's a little bit older than that. She can be feisty at times. Betty White. She looks good for her age. <laughs> um, it's Miss Forrest. Oh. All right, do you know who this is? Denzel Washington. Not quite. He's a rapper. He's married to Beyonce. He named his daughter Blue Ivy. Carter, ring any bells? Don't listen to rap. Um, have you ever heard of Jay-Z? First time. Well, that's who it is. Okay. Do you know who this one is? Yeah, that's Malcolm X. He's an African American who grew up in a racially intolerant time. As a result, he became militant and taught white hatred until he went outside the country on a Muslim pilgrimage. And then he learned that hatred wasn't from a specific race, but an individual. And he taught what he learned until he was murdered. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, excuse me, Ms. Rachin. Would you mind if I asked your class about some American history? That's fantasy! I'm the on who is for me! Get back! Um, 
excuse me, Mr. Gill, would you mind if I ask you a class about some American history? Not at all. Go ahead and ask away. Alright, would any of you guys like to volunteer to be on a show and answer some questions about American history? The girl in black right here. Hi, what's your name? Elizabeth. Alright, I'm going to ask you three questions and I want you to tell me who they are, okay? Alright. Do you know who this is? Jackson? Not quite. He um, played God on Bruce Almighty. He was in Shawshank Redemption. Nothing. All right, it's Morgan Freeman. Oh, okay. Do you know who this is? Forrest Gump? Um, not quite. He's a head coach here. Coach Owen? Not quite. He's the head basketball coach, Coach Hudson. All right, I have my fingers crossed. Do you know who this is? Oh, it's Abraham Lincoln. He was our 16th president. He served during the Civil War, and he was also assassinated on April 14, 1865, by John Wilkes Booth at the Forest Theater. He's considered an American hero. All right, thank you very much. No problem. Hey, excuse me, Mrs. St. Clair. Would you mind if we asked your class about some American history? Sure, go ahead. Thank you. Would any of you guys like to answer questions about American history and be on TV? Right here in the black. Hi, what's your name? Laura. All right, I'm going to throw you. I'm going to show you three pictures of people, and I need you to tell me who they are. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you know who this is? Could you move it to the left? To the left a little bit. If that helps at all. No, not ringing any bells. She's married to Jay-Z. She sings all the single ladies, all the single ladies. No. Have you ever heard of Beyonce? No. All right, well, that's who it is. Do you know who this is? That's the kid that follows me everywhere. Mm, no. Greatest talk show host ever? No, not ringing any bells. All right. Do you know who this is? Yes, that's Martin Luther King Jr. He was one of the most prominent um, civil rights activists in American history. He was responsible for people of all races to be allowed to be in the same room together. He fought for civil or he fought for equal rights and equal opportunities until his assassination in, on April 4th, 1968. All right, thank you very much. After missing me, I didn't expect you to know who that one was, so I appreciate your time. Thank you. Um, excuse me, Mr. Johnson. Would you mind if I asked your class some questions about American history? Uh, sure, go ahead. Thank you very much. All right, would any of you guys like to answer some questions about American history and make TV? Um, right here in the orange. Hi, what's your name? Tessa. I understand that you just transferred here from Signature School. Yep. All right, now the name of the game is I'm going to ask you, I'm going to show you three pictures of people and I want you to tell me who they are, okay? Okay. All right, can you tell me who this one is? That's Chuck Norris. All right, very good. For some reason, people have been missing the first ones. I don't know what's up with that. Now, who's this? That's Madonna. She played at the Super Bowl halftime show. Yeah, she did. One of the performers that she performed with is actually in trouble because they kind of flipped off the camera. Can you believe that? That's so strange. All right, now after the first two, and coming from Signature, I expect you to know who this guy is, okay? Okay. Morgan Freeman. Not quite. Uh, first American president? Bruce Willis. No. Uh, one of the most recognizable American generals in history? Mr. Brochiers. <laughs> no. That is definitely George Washington. Did they not teach you this at SIG? SIG's overrated. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for your time. Thanks. Hey, excuse me, Senorita Martin. Would you mind if we ask your class about some American history? Por supuesto. Gracias. Do any of you guys want to answer some questions about American history and be on TV? Uh, I do. Uh, sure. um, right here. Hi, what's your name? Jamila. All right, now I have three pictures of people, and I need you to tell me who they are, okay? Okay. All right, do you know who this is? Um, I mean, he looks familiar, but the guy I'm thinking of has a wheelchair. 
Um, he's a Canadian born rapper. Justin Bieber. Um, not quite. He sings Are You Down, Are You Down, Are You All the Way Down. I don't know, but I don't think you should sing. <laughs> Alright, have you ever heard of Drake? No. Alright, well, you have now. Okay. Do you know who this is? Your mom? Um, not quite. She makes some of the most important decisions at Central High School. Miss Forrest? Not quite. Have you ever seen or heard of a woman named Mrs. Hoover? No. <laughs> Alright, well, that's who it is. Okay. Do you know who this is? Oh yeah, that's Thurgood Marshall. Um, he was the grandson of a slave. He went on to study law at Harvard, at Harvard University. He became um, chief counsel for the NAACP. His most famous case was Bobby Board of Education. It overturned Plessy B. Ferguson and eventually led to the desegregation of American schools. Um, he also became the first African American Supreme Court Justice and his legacy pretty much lives on in the lives of all American school children today. After missing the first two, you definitely rounded up some might and got that one correct. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So there you have it. These Central High School students showed that we do know a little something about American history. Pop culture, not so much. But I would also like to remind you that these ten American heroes are only a handful of those that are out there. What makes an American hero? Is it one that you can say their name right off the bat when somebody asks you? Maybe. Or is it somebody who has altered your life in any way, but you just can't name them? Who knows? But for that, we can be thankful because they, they are what has made America what it is today. And these were our American heroes.